really happy that you're here with me. I've somehow gotten a lot of attention, for me at least, in the last couple of weeks, and it's been really nice to not feel quite so alone, and to know that there are other people out there who might be enjoying similar hobbies to me. Also, if you hear any meowing in the background, uh, those are my cats. They have the zoomies right now. Um, I will try to edit out the noise as best as I can so that we can have a relaxing study journaling time together. Did you watch the extra video that I posted earlier this week? Did you like it? Would you like to see more of that kind of thing? I find the interaction to be really encouraging for me to engage in the quieter hobbies that I have, including my letter writing and side studying. I suppose I could try to film myself drawing or crocheting, but you can see in this video that I'm struggling to draw properly with the camera at the angle that it is. I think I'll either need to find a different angle, a different spot for my camera, or else just not film myself drawing. I think it works pretty well at my desk rather than at my living room table, but then I have to sit at my desk. I guess I'll have to think about it. You might also notice that my fingernails are blue. I promise I'm okay, though I apologize for them not being so great to look at. My cuticles and things are suffering as well, but that's a different story. <laughs> I have chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, so COPD, along with asthma. So every once in a while, my nails or lips will turn blue. Normally that means I'm either overly cold or that I need to use my inhaler. I think in this case, I was just cold because of the angle that I was writing in. I finished reading The Girl with All the Gifts this week, and I have to say that I'm surprised and a little embarrassed that there were so many words that I either didn't know or else hadn't heard since I was in school. Tagging them in my Kindle and then writing them down made me feel a little bit more confident in them. I really like that the Kindle has a built-in dictionary, but going back and finding the words again after I finished reading through the highlighting system was a bit of a slog. If you have any suggestions on how to streamline that a bit, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, there were some really beautiful quotes in this book as well. Some of them hit me a bit too hard with my own struggles with reality right now, so I don't think I'll read all of them, but there are two that I'd like to read to you, I think. Growing up and growing old. Playing. Exploring. Like Pooh and Piglet. And then like the famous five. And then like Heidi and Anne of Green Gables. And then like Pandora, opening the great big box of the world and not being afraid, not even caring whether what's inside is good or bad. Because it's both. Everything is always both. But you have to open it to find that out. Then, the last quote that I have highlighted is... When your dreams come true, your true has moved. You've already stopped being the person who had the dreams, so it feels more like a weird echo of something that already happened to you a long time ago. That one really sticks with me. It attached itself directly to my heart and hasn't let go. It's been a good reminder when I've thought about it over the last week or two, just how my own wants and needs and dreams will shift ever so slightly to the left as time marches relentlessly on. Anyhow, thank you again to all of you who have subscribed, who clicked the like button, commented. It really has meant a lot and I'm starting to feel like there's a little community with me as I'm working on these things definitely has helped me stay accountable when I felt sad or lost or discouraged in my own head. And thank you to those of you who have joined my Patreon. That helps me the most direct way possible, and I hope to continue to add things to it that bring you value. Right now I've got little blog posts and a downloadable phone background, along with the things that I normally post on either my Tumblr or my Instagram, but just a little bit earlier. 
I'm trying to come up with more things to have available on there as well. I've been toying with the idea of downloadable bookmarks or a zine that I've been working on. Do any of you have any preferences? Would a private Discord server be something you'd be interested in? If you have a moment to comment any ideas below, I'd really like that a lot. I've rambled on long enough though, I think, so thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.